So before we actually begin animating this, we want to kind of rig this for Trio. It's going to be a little bit different than what we've done with other designs. So first what we're going to do is worry about this headline text. Let's start with that. So I'm going to come into our headline text here and we're going to go into our built-ins into our control folder and use the control text here for our first headline. We're going to go ahead and drop that onto there. Our field identifier is going to be one. This is our first thing that we want the trio operator to be able to change out. I'm going to leave all these default settings as is. I'm going to drag another control text onto our subline and this is going to be number two since it's our second element that we want the trio operator to be able to change. I'm going to leave all of these settings as default. We started that. Now what we need to do is set this up for the choices. So first we have a choice of either a full page or a headshot and I have these grouped. So what I'm going to need to do is use an OMO for this. I'm going to go into our built-ins container plugins tools and use the OMO plugin here and drop it on our container that's labeled choice of text or topic. So when I drop this OMO on here, we basically have an option and it gives us an option for visible container, which is zero or one. So when the trio operator types in zero, it's going to give them an option to change the full page text. When they type in one, it's going to give them an option for the headshots. We also need an OMO on our headshots choice. So I'm going to go ahead and drag an OMO onto this group as well. When I click on my OMO here, you can see that we now have a choice of one, two, or three. There is a button on the OMO, it's called keep visible. So we'll want to keep that on. And now as we adjust these numbers, you can see that each one of them will stay on if the other one is not chosen. The one problem being here is that nothing is being center aligned. So I'm going to use another plugin here in the transformation folder called Justifier. I'm going to drag this down onto our headshots. I'm going to go into the Justifier and where we want it to align on X is in the center. So as I click that, it aligns in the center. Now when we go back to the OMO and click on one, two, or three, it's going to adjust from the center out. All right, now that I have those OMOs set up, we're going to need to give control to the trio operator to operate these OMOs. So I'm going to go back into the built-ins, into the container plugins, into the control folder, and we're going to use this control OMO to give them the choice between the full page or the headshots. So here we have an OMO on this one. I'm going to drag this control OMO down to this here. This is going to give the trio operator their third choice to swap something out. So I'm going to go ahead into the OMO. And here the description is choice of text or picture. So that kind of gives them a hint as to what to choose. Now the field identifier is going to be three since it is our third control plugin or the third thing that I want them to change. So while we have that set up, I'm going to turn on our full page text and we're going to add the control text to this. So we're going to drag the control text onto our full page text here. I'm going to leave the default settings as is, but I'm going to change this field identifier, but I'm going to change this field identifier to four since it will be our fourth option of them to change it out. So I'm going to close that one up. Now we need to work with our headshots. So I'm going to go ahead and change to our headshots and I'm going to open up this group. Okay, so we have our three choices here and we need to give the trio operator the choice between these three headshots. It may be a little bit confusing having them see that visible container zero actually equals one. So if we want one to equal one, what we need to do is add a blank box. So I'm actually going to temporarily delete this OMO and this justifier, and I'm gonna add a new group underneath this headshot choice. I'm just gonna leave the group blank as is. I'm going to rename it though as blank. So, and then I'm gonna go into our tools and redrag our OMO back down onto his headshot. So now our OMO is actually zero will equal zero, one will equal one, two will equal two, and three will equal three. So now that I drug all of them off, we need to keep visible on, we need to reposition these, and what we'll do is redrag that justifier plugin on here as well. So we'll go into transformation, drag the justifier down, and then align on X at the center. So now that when we come in here to our OMO again, when we change our options here, zero equals zero, one equals one, two equals two headshots, and three equals three headshots. 
All right, now we need to add the control plugin. So we'll go into the control folder and we want them to be able to swap out or change the number of headshots. So we need a control OMO on this and this is going to be field identifier number five. We have our description here. We also have a minimum value of zero and a maximum value. We can just change that maximum value to three so that they know that there's only really three choices. Now, since we have additional things down here that we need to add control, we're gonna do the numerical numbering thing a little bit different. First, we want them to be able to swap out this headshot. So I'm gonna drag the control image on here and I'm gonna call this one 610. And then I'm gonna give them the option to change this player name. So I'm gonna add a control text on that. I'm gonna call this one 620. And we also want them to be able to swap out some information down here below the player. So I'm gonna call this one 630. And these numbers that I'm coming up with are just a quick way to kind of group these things together to let me quickly identify that all 610, 620, and 630 go together. Now, since we are in this control text, there's one thing that I need to do in this one. Even though we have this auto wrap or special box on it, we have an option here for a single line in the control text. I'm gonna turn that off for this particular info box so that it will actually wrap. If this single line was on, it would just keep typing in a single line. All right, so I'm gonna move down to my next picture and we're gonna add the control plugins to this too. So first is the headshot. I'm gonna go ahead and add a control image to this. I'm gonna call this one 710. I'm gonna go ahead to my name. I'm gonna add a control text to the player name. I'm gonna call this one 720. I'm gonna go down to the player information box here. I'm gonna add a control text to that. I'm gonna call this one 730. And again, on this particular one, I'm gonna turn that single line off. I'm gonna move down to my third headshot here. I'm gonna first add the control image to the headshot. I'm gonna call this one 810. I'm gonna move down to the player name. I'm gonna add a control text to that one. I'm gonna call that one 820. And I'm gonna move down to the info box, add a control text to that. I'm gonna call this one 830. And I also need to turn the single line off for that particular control text. All right, so this scene is rigged. It's set up for Trio. And now the next step is to actually animate these elements on, and that's what we'll do next. So we'll go ahead and save the scene if we haven't, and I'm just gonna call this FP underscore variant equals blue and we'll click OK. And now we'll move on to animate this full page. 